Well, here we are with another Black Flag video. I had recorded two videos back to back when I put them into the editing software. I noticed OBS didn't record my voice, so instead of posting two videos without me talking, I'm just going to summarize what happened. Uh, first, I gathered all five Templar keys and got the Templar armor. I'm glad to have already gotten this one like really early because it reduces enemy attack damage, so that'll be good. Um, in a previous episode, Thatch was talking about getting medicine for NASA. Uh, he finally got a box uh, and finds a stamp on it where it was made and takes over the island to steal more medicine. Um, later, Thatch tells Edward he is needing to find a quiet life by his 50s. He is like four decades uh, into his life, so he's getting there. Look, lad, I'm late into my fourth decade on this earth. And if I don't find some means to make the fifth quiet and cozy voyage, I'd rather sink to the devil's doorstep than call myself captain another year. Um, back on NASA, the uh, government is saying they will take the island over or they'll kill, they'll kill everybody on it. Um, Thatch has finally retired and is celebrating, so that's good. Uh, then Thatch tells Edward about a slave ship called the Princess, and Edward goes to destroy it for reasons I had forgotten. Um, well, he is going to go destroy it. Um, then the island gets attacked by a ship, so Edward and Thatch go, uh, go catch it, and they board it. Um, after fighting the enemy crew, one of the enemies kills Thatch. Later, Edward and Charles find the princess and take it over, but Jack, a fellow, a fellow crew member of Charles, uh, turns on him and leaves Edward and Charles stranded on a destroyed boat with no sails. They end up washed up on a deserted island. Then out of nowhere, Charles goes crazy and tries to kill Edward, but Edward kills Charles. Which brings us to here. Um... So we are needing to go to, and I will talk about this later, uh, we need to go back to Kingston and do something there, uh, but uh, <laughs> as you can see, I've been pretty busy, I mean just like look at this, look at all these golden islands, there's some that I haven't done like right here I haven't touched, here, here, uh, and right here, but I think that might be it. I think that's all of them yeah i just got to do like those couple little islands uh but yeah so i've been really busy taking over every island every uh diving bell mission uh, i've gotten everything that you, you can get from uh uncharted i've gotten all the uncharted collectibles so there's no like fragments like right here or chests right here uh yeah, I've gotten all that, and, uh, yeah. Oh, another thing, big thing, I've taken up, I've taken over all the legendary ships that are in these corners, so I have finally got all of them. Um, then after I got all four of them, um, I've gotten every Mayan stone, uh, except for one, and the reason why I can't get that one is because it is it's uh i think it's like a something you have to do like you you can't go to that area just yet and like maybe it'll tell you some more about the buy-in stones uh i already know what what you do with the mine stones so you're gonna go to this island you're gonna go here and it's somewhere around here i believe this is island by the way it's somewhere around like here there's a little icon it's like a little like uh, I don't even know what to call it. But anyways, it's another outfit. Uh, so you know how like, we have like the Templar outfit it's supposed to like reduce damage against enemies. Uh, I don't know what this one does. Uh, I've never gotten it. 
But um, yeah, so I've gotten all the Mayan stones except for one, and whenever I get that Mayan stone, I will be able to go get that outfit. Uh, we'll learn more about that when we get there. Uh, anything else that I've done? I've gotten a lot of the Abstergo challenges completed. You know, just a little bit, little stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm very close to completing everything. I'm like, more, like a little more than 70% uh, progressed into the game. Um, and because like a lot of the stuff, a lot of the percentage of like completing this game, getting 100% synchronization is just getting collectibles. So it's a lot of tedious stuff. Um, yeah, so we will go to Kingston. I have a treasure map in this area. Here's where the water meets in the middle. Crates. A wall and a palm tree. Okay, so it's like over here. Okay, yeah, we'll go and do that real quick. Another thing. <clears throat> I forgot to mention. Um while I've been going to every diving bell, uh, some of them had plans, like uh, like blueprints or whatever, to for like ship upgrading your ship. Um, so I have upgraded my ship almost to the max, and I think like the rest I need to do is like fire barrel stuff and then like storage. The deer. So, I am almost done completing my entire ship. Alright, there's that wall, and here's the crates. So, it's like right here, somewhere. Right here. That's all of those years of playing Sea of Thieves. I miss playing Sea of Thieves. It's like a really good game. Well, at times it can be. All right, I got a plan. Uh, the black wood wheel. Ooh, that'd be pretty cool. Some of the stuff is uh, it kind of hints if you haven't if you're playing it chronologically. Um, what what there's some part there's some uh, appearances on your ship that you can buy, and some of it says like this later goes to Connor, and it's like. Or like Connor Kenway, it's like, wait, who's Connor Kenway if you'd never played 3 and you're playing chronologically? Because uh, if you don't know, Connor is the grandson of Edward. And uh, Connor's dad is Edward's son. Um, uh, what's his name? What news are they? This Bajan works for the Royal African Company. Tell him what you told me. I haven't seen the princess for eight weeks or more, meaning she may soon be back. What else? I thought this buck belonged to the other man who was asking about the princess this morning. So I told him that... What other man? Haughty sailor in plain rags, and a gent with a scar just here. Where have they got to? Staying just round the corner, they said. I grow tired of chasing these fancies hey, of yours, Edward. As does a crew. Hang in there, man. We're getting close. Ooh, that was close. Have you alerted the men? We're short on time. Aye. There will be two soldiers waiting for us at the crossroads. Very good. If you don't mind me asking, sir, what's the meaning behind these blood samples we're taking? Torres tells me that blood is required for the observatory to properly function. How do you mean, sir? If one wishes to use the observatory to, say, spy on King George, then one would require a drop of the king's blood to do so. In other words, a small sample of blood gives us access to a man's everyday life. Does Torres mean to spy on me, then? For I've just given him a sample of my blood. As have I, Captain Hornigold. As... <laughs> the next on 
measure of rum tonight, why? That was really yes, close. Fear not. Torres has shipped our samples to a Templar safe house in Rio de Janeiro. We will not be the observatory's first subjects, I assure you. Aye, sir. I suppose it's a small price to pay for what the Templars have given me in return. Precisely. Governor, when you hunted pirates in Madagascar, what methods worked best? I believe it was my charisma that persuaded them. Violence and threats should always be a last resort. In Madagascar, I offered those pirates a choice. Take a pardon and return to England penniless but free men, or be hanged by the neck until dead. Just as you did in Nassau. Precisely. A pity Commodore Chamberlain did not live to see my thorough success. It's not like you to glow, Rogers. We all deserve a moment, don't we? What measures are we taking to recover the princess from these pirates? Captain Hornigold has dispatched some of his best men to ensure the sage's capture. Mm. What of the sage's present location? Africa, Your Excellency. Africa? By God. The winds do not favor that. I concur, Grandmaster. I should have sailed there myself. One of my slave galleys would be more than capable of making a swift journey. Slave galley? Captain, I asked you to divest yourself of that city situation. I failed to see the difference between enslaving some men and all men. Our aim is to steer the entire course of civilization, is it not? A body enslaved inspires the mind to revolt. But, enslave a man's mind, and his body will follow on. Naturally. Efficient. A fair point, Grandmaster. Uh, remind me, where in Africa are we looking? Principe, sir, a small island. We've sent two of our best men, Burgess and Cochrane. Privateers with fast ships and firm hearts. Edward Kenway! Imagine my surprise at seeing your jack door anchored there. Have you heard all you came to hear? Will you now rescue the sage from our clutching hands? A pox on you, traitor! You sold us down river. Because I found a better path. The Templars know order, discipline, structure. But you never could fathom these subtleties. Goodbye, old friend. You were a soldier once, when you fought for something real. Something beyond yourself. These guys aren't gonna stop me. Oh, so, um, I wanted to discuss some upgrades I did with my ship. Um, let's see. Is there any good ships I can... Eh. I was gonna say... I wonder if there was any good ships I could try to sink, but, um, none of these are, like, good to take over. I guess we'll just take this one, for example. So as you can see on the top right, uh, on the A button, it shows charge. Watch this. So I'm gonna do my chain shot and then charge. Alright, so you saw that. Now it showed this one. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> so, um, I can now just hold Y, and it just automatically shoots all the weak points, because so, I've upgraded my, uh, guns right there, I forgot what they're called, but, uh, yeah, now all I have to do is just hold Y and just take them down, it's, it takes down, uh, it takes down ships super fast. What's our course, Captain? Principe, Quartermaster. We're sailing for the coast of Africa.
Wow. Is that volcano? Hmm. I have a treasure map in this location. Oh gosh. We have uh, more to discover. Save pirates. Okay, well, I guess that's just a little mission we have to do. Oh, this is gonna be sad. <laughs> that was sad. Come on, give me a challenge. I'm not worried about boarding him. Well, that was simple. Captain Kenway. Yet another dire situation, Roberts. We really must stop meeting like this. Stop tailing me and your wish had come true. There's no need for this. You know I'm as good as my word. Our Captain Howell was killed today in a Portuguese ambush. Headstrong fool. I warned him not to go ashore. It was orchestrated by the Templars, Burgess and Cockrum. The same sort that took you to Havana. Ah. I see now there is no escaping the Templars' attention, is there? I suppose it is time to fight back. I do like the sound of that. And I know just how I'll do it. But these men, Burgess and Cockrum, they cannot be allowed to leave with word of my escape. They won't. Count on it. If you spot any men from my crew, do them some kindness and send them here. I'll do all I can. <laughs> from my crew. Got a good accent. There was no point of doing that. I just wanted to do that because it was awesome. Pull up your socks and grab your cocks. This ship is sailing. Oi, roast yourselves and haul your asses to port. We're weighing anchor. You done us good, Kenway. Proved yourself a true bravo. And for what? His own bloody pride. You stepped in the path of my prize. Not a thing a man should do. <laughs> a cocksure, Cully. Just like Hornigold said. That Templar scab means nothing to me. None of you do. And you're worse for it, Kenway. It were the Templars who took us in when all else went to shit. Not our king. Not our country. The Templars. The Templars is our family. Where's yours? In NASA. In honest service, there are thin commons, no wages, and hard. Yet, as gentlemen of fortune, we enjoy plenty and satisfaction, pleasure and ease, liberty and power. So what man with a sensible mind would choose the former life when the only hazard we pirates run is a sour look from those without strength or splendor? <laughs> now, I have been among you six weeks, and in that time, I have adopted your outlook as my own. 
and with so fierce a conviction that it may frighten you to see your passions reflected from me in so stark a light. But <coughs> if it's a captain you see in me now, I then, I'll be your bloody captain. Yeah! For I have dipped my hands in muddied waters, and withdrawing them, find it better to be a commander than a common man. Yeah! Oh. You threaten me with your assistance. I'm looking for the observatory. Folks say you're the only man that can find it. Folks are correct. Despite my distaste for your eagerness, I see in you a touch of untested genius. I'm Bartholomew Roberts. Edward. I have no secrets to share with you now. But if you'll lend me your aid, in two months' time, west of the Leeward Islands. Well, it's there you'll get some answers, I promise you. Oh, cool. I was gonna try to free up some pirates, but I didn't think I was gonna end this fast. Funny that. With scurvy, the fix is more pleasant than the cause. When you catch a dose from a horn, must treat it with quicksilver. You're fonder of getting the disease than you are of curing it. Something biting at you. Oh, all men desire to live by a code or a creed, yes? Yet when pressed, most defer to their instincts rather than the laws that bind them. What is the appeal of a creed if it does not yoke all men to like behavior? Might make a man feel like he belongs to something. What's your answer? Ah, oh, that all men are sheep. That an old wolf like me deserves every ounce of blood he draws. Sail to this location. Bring only those you trust. I trust my crew. Thank you. Ah, Captain Kenway. Should we use your ship for this next scheme or mine? I first hear the details before deciding. Oh, it's a small gambit. This fount of information has just told me that a nearby galleon contains the treasure I seek. For his sake, I hope he's right. You've thought this plan through? Indeed. And using this man will acquire a Portuguese flag, which will get us as close to our target as possible. It's a very simple idea. If you follow my orders to the letter. The jackdaw, then. Excellent. <laughs> We're underway, Roberts. So what's your plan? The flagship of this fleet is transporting a valuable treasure in a large chest. Crystal files filled with blood. You may remember. We're chasing drams of blood. Is that all? I asked you to follow my instructions to the letter, Captain. But I did not give you leave to question why. I want those blood vials intact. And if that does not happen, we part as enemies. Do you understand? I'll try to, I. There's the thing for us, Captain. You see that ship here? We'll need its flag for this ruse to work. If I can steal their flag without disturbing so much as a flea, I'll do it. By all means, try. Que Deus o guarde e proteja, senhor! 
Como se encontra nesta noite tão formosa? Muito bem, muito bem, obrigado. Uh, só um pequeno passeio por esses copos, que estão todos em, em boa forma. Uh, está tudo em ordem por este lado? Sim, senhor! Tudo em ordem, senhor! Estamos Please apenas à espera que o nosso navio almirante seja reabastecido antes de zarpar. Ah! E julgo que um dos nossos navios mercantes da nossa frota necessita de um novo mastro. Há homens em terra neste momento em busca de uma árvore que precisa de tal propósito. Bem, é embarcador, é muito bom. Então, quando julgas, terão. Compõem a minha... How did they not know it's the robo? <laughs> Whatever. Certo, senhor. Ele de momento está a dormir. Vai lamentar não ter tido a oportunidade para falar consigo. Até a próxima. E que Deus vos abençoe. Clue up, short and sane. Up ahead. They are unloading something from that ship. Could that be our prize? Perhaps you should go ashore, Captain Kenway. Find that chest, and if it contains the prize I seek, bring it here. We'll tell this lot where a ship right with pay. They'll not come near them unless they catch them. Wait it. Wait the box. Treasure must be aboard that galleon. Why don't you take the ship itself and save us a bit of time? Aye, that's the way I play it. I can bring the jackdaw closer, but those lookouts will be a problem. Well spotted. I'll clear them off first. Been spotted. Took them long enough. The quarters all man the cannons. Every last hand. On your command, Captain. Let's hear the roar of this beast. Ooh, we can take over a man of war. See what this thing has uh, up its sleeve. Me a charge. In like the hot winds of hell blowing in your face. Fire! 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 Fire!
Come on, go. Oh wow, I wish I had that. Here's my prize. Ah, the Templars have been busy, I see. Lawrence Prince's blood. Useless now. Woods Rogers, Ben Hornigold, even Torres himself. Small quantities kept for a special purpose. You must take me to the observatory, Roberts. I need to know what it is. To what end, eh? Will you sell it from under my nose? Or work with me and use it to bolster our game? Whatever improves my lot in life. How ridiculous. A merry life and a short one, that's my motto. It's all the optimism I can muster. All right, Captain Kenway. You've earned a look. Nice. We get to look at the observatory. Use a rope swing to kill the captain. I didn't know we even had rope swings available to us. Hmm. I thought we had to get that later. But I guess we have that available now. Hmm. Wait. We yeah, we don't we don't even have rope swings yet. Or rope darts. I guess rope swing is something else. Never mind what I said. Can you feel it, Addy? We're moments away from the grandest prize of all. I feel nothing but a hot wind in my ears, Captain. Come on, man. When we take this treasure, we'll be set for life, all of us. Ten times over. As you wish. Ahoy, Roberts. We'll cast anchor and meet ashore. You were followed, Captain Kenway. How long for, I wonder? It's Hornigold! Burn and flay that turncoat. Deal with your old friend in haste, Captain, before I regret my favor to you. <laughs> Alright, where are they at? Captain, think carefully about what you mean to do here. What are you grousing about, Ade? It's Ben Hornigold, come to kill us out there. Aye, and the traitor needs to die. But what then? Can you say with certainty that you would deserve the observatory more than he and his Templars? No, I can't, and I don't care to try. But if you've a better idea, by all means, tell me. Forget working with Roberts. Tell the assassins. Bring them here, and let them protect this place. Aye, I'll bring them here. If they're willing to pay me a good sum for it. Ah. Trim the yards off the wind! We'll have a hard fight if Hornigold draws us any deeper into this fall. We're nearing the devil's backbone. You mean them crags that look like the backbone of the Aye, El Espinazo del Diablo, Spaniel's corner. There it is. There's Hornigold. Getting close. will be coming back. I wonder why, why Adewale doesn't like us stay out of combat home. What did it say? Air assassinate Hornigold. 
What was that a thing? Anyways, I wonder why Adewale isn't wanting us to do this with Roberts. stood for something but you for kill us hard now with nothing but metal to show for all your blunders campsite better than you Ben the heart of a traitor who thinks himself better than his mates I and proven true what have you done since Nassau fell oh, nothing but murder and mayhem you threw in with the very kind we once hated no these Templars are different I wish you could see that but if you continue on your present course, you'll find you're the only one walking it. With the gallows. At its end. It may be. But now the world has one less snake in it. And that's enough for me. Wow. It didn't, well, it said stay out of combat, and I couldn't read the rest because it went away. And then I went to go see what all I should do, and just said air assassinate Horn of Gold. So I have no idea what happened with that. Maybe it was a glitch. Um. Yeah, we've been uh, just murdering all the people that we knew. Which is crazy, but I mean they've they've all turned into Templars for whatever reason. I think this might be the area that wasn't allowed for me, like it wasn't available for me. So now we get to go in this area finally, and I believe this is where the last Mayan stone is. But don't quote me on that. This couldn't. This probably isn't even the. <gasps> Ooh, there's a convoy right there. Is that pirate hunter dead? Aye, by my own hand. Why is it you alone can find what so many want? I was born with memories of this place. Memories of another time entirely, I think. Like a... Like another life I've already led. Curse you for a lurch man and speak some sense. Not today. Uh-oh. After you, Captain. The path ahead is dangerous. Native to this land will put up a fight. Are you willing to push back if necessary? Huh? To kill if needed. You're here for me, sir. Alright, incapacitate all guards while unarmed. Uh incapacitate incapacitate guardians from stalking zones. Whoa. This game looks beautiful, by the way. <laughs> I just want to say that, just a walk in the woods. Is this the observatory? All this? Aye, an almost sacred place. All it needs is a drop of my blood.
Here we go. We're about to go to the observatory. Well, I'm not moving. That's not me. And the door opens. Oh, okay. Almost 80,000 years. I didn't know what was going on. Jesus, Roberts! Have you gone mad? Quite the contrary, Edward. These wags would have gone mad at seeing what lies beyond this gate. But you... Uh, I suspect you're made of sterner stuff. Now, pick up that chest. And carry it hither. Wow. He could have just be like, hey, I'll stay here. Dirty and decrepit. Not quite as I remember. But it has been over 80 millennia. Ah, rot. That's impossible. Step as if on thin ice, Captain. I must say I'm quite taken by this new vocation of mine. And it may amuse you to know that I have authored my own articles of conduct. A creed of your own, eh? To keep the peace, yes. I forbid all gambling upon the deck, for instance, for it leads to more conflict than camaraderie. Desertion during battle is forbidden. And I require that all men keep their pieces and cutlasses clean and fit for service at all times. Sensible. And punishable by death if disobeyed. Look at this place. Beautiful, isn't it? Aye. Like something out of a fairy tale. Or one of them old poems. There were many stories about this place once. Tales that turned into rumors and again into legend. The inevitable process of facts becoming fictions before fading away entirely. More blood vials. Yes, these cubes contain the blood of an old and ancient people. A wonderful race in their time. The more you talk, man, the less I understand. I don't expect you to. Only remember this. Why is it telling the us blood that? in those files is not worth a single real to anyone anymore. It may be again one day, but not in this evil. Here we are. Place the... that noise oh yes a security measure just a moment this makes me wonder if I even def if I've even beaten this game before because I don't remember any of this are. so what is this place think of it as a large spyglass such as we sailors carry a device Capable of seeing great distances. This is bloody witchcraft. No, this is Mr. Jack Rackham. Somewhere in the world at this moment. NASA. Well, this is happening right now. We're seeing through his eyes. I. I don't know, Jim. I haven't the faintest idea how to pilot a ship. That ain't work a woman does. Tosh. I've seen a score of ladies who can reef a sail and spin a capstan. And would you teach me to fight? With a cock glass like? And maybe handle a pistol? All that and more. But you have to want it and work for it. There's no stumbling into true success. Oi! Lad! That's my last you're making love to! <laughs> Lay off! Or I catch ya! Up your ass, Rackham! That's the last thing you should be calling me. Oh! Oh! Oh, is that right, is it? Lad? <laughs> A curious bunch. Let's try another. Governor Woods Rogers. <laughs> You're standing on the box of vials. You have a bold idea, but I must think it carefully through. 
A simple pledge of loyalty is all you need suggest to the House of Commons. An oath, a gesture, and a simple ceremonial dram of blood taken from the finger. That's all. The ministers may give me trouble, but it should be easy enough to convince the House of Lords. They do adore an excess of pomp and circumstance. Exactly. Tell them it's a show of fealty to the king against those revolting Jacobites. Yes, indeed. Oh, these Templars. The crucial detail is the blood. You must get a sample from each man. We want to be ready when we find the observatory. Agreed. A precious tool, you see. Sorcery, that's what it is. Not so! Every mechanism that gives this device its light is a true and physical thing. Ancient, yes, but nothing supernatural or strange. We'll be masters of the ocean with that. Oh, such ambition. Oh, no. I knew he would betray us. There is nothing in my code about loyalty, boy. You played your role, but our partnership is done. You're a dead man, Roberts! So Adewale was right. All those people. Oh, <laughs> survive. Oh no. Well, how do we survive? We're, we're steadily dying. Jackdaws flown, Edward. Eh? That's the beauty of a democracy. The many outvote the one. Oh, you could sail with me, but with a temper as hot as yours, I fear you'd burn us all to cinders. Luckily, I know the king's bounty on your head is a large one, and I intend to collect. Have you, uh, have you ever seen the inside of a Jamaican prison, boy? His teeth are dirty.
Yeah, hundred percent. Oh man, so much has happened. Where are we at? Are we in the break room? And why are we, do we just fall asleep? Hello? How are you? If you're anxious, that'll pass. It's the midazolam. I'm sorry about this, but we've had so many security breaches, we were forced to take drastic action. And Olivier is missing. He left for Chicago two days ago, but no one's seen him since. I know this seems excessive, but with our high-level security clearance, we have an obligation to our shareholders. Rest assured, we will compensate you when the hacker is found. So get some rest, okay? And if you're up to it, maybe capture some more footage? You're doing amazing work. I can't wait to show you the work we've been doing with your stuff. Take care. Hmm. <laughs> so, they tossed you in the bunker. Nice. Those Templars upstairs aren't taking any chances. I think we need to... There's a QR code, sticky note. Manifesto of the instruments of the first will writ by a true disciple this day, 21st October 2013. Wow, remember that year? Uh, in anticipation of the anniversary of her ascension, ascension, I have no idea. May she guide us to uh, us into the gray. Grace all the dirt they might have on you. Hmm. Did you hear that? <laughs> I think I just gave you level three security clearance. Now head to the security room and use the cameras to watch the door to the server farm. Unfortunately, Melanie's in there now, so when I escort her out, that's when you make your move. I'd wipe these servers myself, but as the head of IT, I'd be a suspect. It has to be someone they've <laughs> already locked up. Can we take a shower? Ah, oh, these Templars. They run our lives, you know. Ah, they decide elections, they control various capital markets, <laughs> and... They inject us with little microchips to track our movements and read our thoughts. It's all very scary. Hey, uh, 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 hey, you know you're supposed to be locked up, right? Going back upstairs ain't a good plan. Entering the server room now. When you see us leave, get in there. I'm just guessing how I'm doing this. <laughs> I really don't know how. I've been able to hack into them real easily. You need an extra set of eyes on this thing, John. We don't even know when the hacker's broken. It could take weeks to go through this data. One, at most. Still too long. I can't keep my team locked up for a week. Legally, you can. It's what they signed up for. Even if they didn't read their contracts. <laughs> Yes, of course. I just hate the idea. So what's the next step? My team is processing the data now. We'll start sifting through it tonight. Scout's honor. Coffee's on me, okay? 
Crazy how things just work so easily. Usually, whenever I try to do something, it never really tends to work out for me. Initiate remote hacking. All right, we got to play in Virus Frogger. Oh my gosh! doing so bad I never was really good at Frogger The dawn of the deadly 18th century. Rogues and sailors band together to live their lives by the sword. With no laws or morals, no gods, and no fear. Only betrayal, mutiny, cruelty, and debauchery. There is plunder to be found on golden beaches. Will you risk life and soul to fight the pirates of nightmares? Benjamin Hornigold, Calico Jack, Charles Bane, and Blackbeard? <laughs> so that's supposed to be the game that... I, I really don't know why we're like trying so hard to to find out more about this game like I don't know I don't know this guy's like saying like hey you need to hack into the system and like look up the trailer <laughs> I don't know this seems like a weird concept to me maybe it means a lot more than what it is showing but uh yeah Pirates of Nightmares out now on the Xbox 360 
Oop, I didn't mean to do that. How do I skip this? Okay. Whoa. Oh, hey, I remember you. I can feel you, Cypher. Feel. But hardly touch. Signal is still too weak, and I am spread thin. Unfocused. Like static and fog. Lingering in networks and nodes. The nervous system of the world. And here? Perhaps the temple was open too soon. But this was not by choice. The cataclysm pushed all doubt aside. <sighs> we bless poor Desmond. Who gave his life so that you, the children of our labors, would live on. To fulfill your purpose and ours. In mine. Now is not the time. My strength is not sufficient to inhabit an organic vessel. There is more work to do, more samples to acquire, more artifacts to find before my will can obtain. What's happening? Tell me! Make me whole again, my children, my instruments. Bring me forth to fulfill your purpose. Tell me! No, no, no! Something's wrong! God damn it! She should be here! Now! Living in that goddamned head of yours! Fuck, 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 fuck! Why did she spare you? Why are you still here? Wow. So that's why he was wanting her to come out. Uh, she, she, he was wanting us to hack in to like the system so we can finally get to this point, go over there, look at the game trailer or whatever, and then she pops out and is supposed to take over my body. But she's like, no, nah, I don't think so. And that guy was like trying to get me like to be possessed or whatever. That's intense. Alright. I think that's it. Man. 69,121. The charges, sir, I'll hear them again. My lord, His Majesty's court contends that the defendants, Mary Reed and Anne Bonney, did piratically feloniously and in an hostile manner attack, engage, and take seven certain fishing boats. Secondly, this court contends that the defendants lurked upon the high seas and did set upon, shoot at, and take to certain merchant sloops, thus putting the captains and their crews in corporeal fear of their lives. Oh, man. Edward James Kenway, born of motley parentage in Swansea, to an English father and Welsh mother. Married at 18 to Miss Caroline Scott, now estranged. She's a beautiful woman, I am told, but not at all well these days. If you touch her, you bastards, I'll... Quite a surprise finding you here rotting in a Jamaican prison. We heard rumors that you had taken up with the pirate Roberts. If you know the observatory's location, tell us now, and you'll be out of here in a flash. Rogers can hold these British hounds at bay for a time. But this will be your fate if you fail to cooperate. You, Mary Reed and Anne Bonny, are to go from hence to the place from whence you came, and from thence to the place of execution, where you shall be severally hanged by the neck, till you are severally dead, dead, dead! Oh, Ross! May God in his infinite mercy be merciful to each of your souls! We're pregnant! Do you all hear that? What the devil did she say? They plead their bellies, my lord. Aye, you can't hang a woman quick with child, can ye? Quiet! Quiet! If what you claim is true, then your executions will be stayed, but only until your terms are up. Then I'll be up the duck the next time you come knocking. Remove them! <laughs> Okay, at least it stalls them from dying.
What's your name? Billock? Ken Moore? Conway? It's Walpole, ain't it? Walpole? Where'd you get that? Well, that's the rumor going round. As dirty and daft a pirate as ever sailed these West Indies. Well, whatever his name, gotta make sure he suffers without dying. Orders from the governor. And back to the prisons at sundown. And massage his feet <laughs> and take him, shall I? Stop your twaddle. Hey! This is a warning. I mean, what are our options? Oi! Stop that! Oi! You stop that! Hey! Oh. Stop your twaddle! Oh, wow. Good morning, Captain Kenway. I have a gift for you. Do not mistake my purpose here. I have come for Anne and Mary, and you owe me nothing for this. <sighs> but if you would lend me your aid, I can promise you safe passage from this place. I'll need weapons. You are comfortable with this, I am told. We must hurry. I, I gotta end this episode soon, guys. Game is like, nope, we have a whole lot more for you. Mary, it's me, Edward. Edward? Who's this fella? It's all right, Anne. He's a friend. What's wrong with Mary? She's ill. And her child. They took her. 
No idea where. Oh, oh, oh. I know it pains, my lady, but we must be silent. Can you walk? Uh, uh, uh. Lean on me, Mary. Come on. Uh, I can't. Search every cell. Come on, that's it. I'm trying. I'm You're trying. All right. Stop. Stop, please. I ain't leaving you, damn it. Oh. Lift your arm. Come on. It's no good. Don't die on my account. Go. This is such a pain in the ass. Damn it. You should have been the one to outlast me. I've done my part. Will you? If you came with me, I could. Mary. I'll be with you, Kim. <clears throat> Man, this game is such a tearjerker. I'm not crying though. Oh man. Oh, that's that's not good. Man, just leave me alone. What's happened to Mary? What's wrong? Is she gone? Oh no. Oh God! Oh. Uh. 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 What will you do now? Nothing sensible.
You haven't earned this, but... They suit you. Good fortune to you, Edward Kenway. I see that I got some whiskey or rum, sorry. See some color first. <laughs> Will this do? In all your years out here, you could never achieve what I've done in one fifth the time. Because you're a good man, Edward, see? Goodness is your disease. That's my prize, Roberts. I give it here. Remember my creed, boy. A short life and a merry one. That is all. The world owes us nothing more than this. So take what you will, and then die before you live to see yourself made a fool. Give it here. That's right, boy. Take it. I'll sweeten you, maggot. I'll cut you down. Oh. Oh. Whoa. What is going on? Come on, little puppy. And slink back to your kennel. You haven't the metal for my brand of madness. Robert! Welcome aboard, Kenway. It's prizes, plunder, and adventure ahead. Are you game? Out of my way, Ben. Raise a glass to freedom, lads. Here's to gentlemen of fortune and women of leisure. To a world full of rogues better than all the kings and queens that kick us about. As gentlemen of fortune, we enjoy plenty and satisfaction, pleasure and ease, liberty and power. What man with a sensible mind would choose oh, the former? Oh, no. For I have dipped my hands in the land, waters, isn't it? and withdrawing them, find it better to be a commander than a common man! Oh my gosh. What is happening? and rustling of feathers the jackdaw came down swiftly and clutched at the coat of a large ram but when he tried to fly away he found he could not lift the animal for his size and strength were not up to the task and even as the jackdaw struggled the ram hardly noticed he was there nearby just across the field the shepherd saw the fluttering bird and was quite amused running up he captured the jackdaw and clipped it that evening, David... No more than two years! You promised me! You left! When I needed you the most! But you had me! Why 
that keeps you wondering. Do I not make you happy? I'm so close, Caroline. Please, just let me do this. Is everything you do I'll spy, Edward? It's not spite that's driving me, Mary. It's courage. Courage for what, man? There's no one left in your life to care. God damn you all. I can handle this. Lout. Always tearing down when you could be building things up or building yourself up if nothing else. Just leave me be. Change course, Edward. Change your bloody course before it's too late. Man, that was a trip. I can't move. Captain Kenway! You look like a bowler plumbed off. Christ! Oh, it's gonna head for ten. On your feet! You put me on the spot, Addy. After leaving me with Robert, I should have hard feelings about seeing you here. But mostly I'm bloody glad. <laughs> me too, brother. And you'll be tough to know your jackdaw is still in one piece. So we set sail. You're leaving. Aye, Edward. But I have another calling elsewhere. Ade, listen. When your heart and your head are ready, visit the assassins. I think you'll understand then. Hmm. Oh, man. Not Adewale. eh? Him too. Oh man. Alright, well I think that's just gonna that's a good place to end off this episode. Wow, there's just so much to happen. But uh yeah, you saw it for yourselves. That'll be I mean, there, what else is there to say? I guess, you know, that, that's the end of the video. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.